Hello everyone, so I'm currently stood on the roof of my van. I've just got into the Snowdonia National Park. There are some awesome mountains back there. There is a lovely water there. And it's literally 360 degree view. And apologies, I'm filming on my phone. A little bit breezy, so hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad. But look at me, I'm on the roof. Can't wait to get the roof deck and the actual hatch um, to get up. But currently I just scrambled up the back and managed to get up. Um, but literally this is an absolutely amazing park up. It's a couple of days before my birthday. It's lovely to have the sun out and I just thought I'd wanted to share this with you. Um, yeah, I've got all the doors open. I've just been cooking and I don't know, it feels like summer. I've got all the doors and windows open, sat out watching videos and eating my lunch in the sun. And now I'm still on the roof and I don't know, it's just... It feels good, so I hope everyone's having a fantastic day, and I'll catch you guys later. Sunrise is even more amazing than last night's sunset. <laughs> but it's mad though, because like the sun's rising over there, but even back there, the sky was still pink. You can't see it now. It's literally the whole, it was just a perimeter of a purple and orangey band all the way around. So like, which side makes a new look? It's amazing here. I'm loving it. <laughs> one of my, one of the, one of my favorites, I reckon. That with that other woods I went to, um, and that spot on the hill in Wales. But yeah, this is a really good one. <laughs> Loving it. Sunshine. That is a powerful sun. That's hot. I could be in a t-shirt. Cattle grids, they're annoying. Right, see you later. Oh, I'm in the city, Porth Madog or town, all right. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm definitely getting more confident with filming in public, but um, it's quite a nice town, to be fair. Uh, uh, and I'm not really into populated places, but here's the laundrette. I'm just waiting for my laundry to be done. Just parked in Tesco, and I uh, went to Tesco and stuff, so now I can use their car park. <laughs> um, and then look at that mountain just there. But yeah, it's really pretty. Nice little town. And then mountains in the backdrop as well. So it's kind of like a little town surrounded by the hills. Very nice. Just left that town now. Come to a little spot. We're kind of on the coast. Not really. But it doesn't have a height barrier. It's down a silly narrow lane, but I risked it, hoping that it wasn't just a dead end. And look at this! <laughs> oh, I found a gem here. Not a single person here. And it's a beautiful day. I mean, it is Monday. But still, the town's pretty packed. Oh, Stone Beach. I can go for a swim, I can go for a morning swim. I was going to go back to the lake, as I said. I, I don't think you can top this, to be fair. And, and we're kind of in the trees, so I might be able to find some bits of wood. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful! Hope everyone's week is going well. Because so far, so good. And Rose, she, she definitely likes the warmer weather because it's like 10 degrees and sunny today. I'm in a t-shirt and shorts now. I changed because it was too warm walking around the town. It's a bit more chilly here with the water, but it's still bearable. I know I'm gonna absorb the rays while I can. Oh dear. Uh, I, I appear to have made a mistake. <laughs> I might have left the window open, but nothing fell out. I don't think. Hopes not. Yeah, we haven't lost the incense holder or the incense or the bananas. Almost did. Okay. Just went for a swim. Didn't film it. Left my phone in there. Couldn't be able to go back. <laughs> Honestly, if you go, if you've got, 
a swimmable lake or the sea near you, go for a swim. I, I mean, by the time this video goes up, it'll be like March anyway. So well into spring. If you're near some water, go for a cold water swim. They are amazing. And now I'm just absorbing the sun, the vitamin D that we all need and lack in the winter. And boy, is it fresh. But to be fair, I am warm now. Stood out here like this. Because when you go in, it's so cold. You just calm your breaths. And then once you've done that, that's enough. Get out. <laughs> and then you feel warm. And uh, oh yeah, it's refreshing as anything. Hello everyone. Uh, it's currently the day before my birthday, which is Valentine's Day. Um, I'm sat here on my own, but technically I'm with nature and I'm loving it. And I'm now using my camera again because change of plans, I'm not going up Snowdon. Um, well, I might do a bit, but it's gonna be raining and then snowing and it's a bit miserable and cold. I'm not gonna go. So my plan is tomorrow, I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna chill here while it's raining and just listen to the sound of the thing and just have a chill morning, um, go for a walk and stuff. And then I'm going to go to this little restaurant I found which does great vegan pizzas. I fancy a pizza. So I'm going to do that. And then um, uh, and then I, it's supposed to be sunny in the afternoon. So I might go a little stroll up half of Snowdon or a quarter of Snowdon. And see what the time is and the weather's like. And then come back down. Um, but yeah, not quite what I planned. And then we'll head to the beach in Anglesey. But for now, second night here. I'm going to... Stay here so I wake up at this lovely spot because I've already said it's the most beautiful spot. I was already going to stay here. I did have a spot pinned. I've just moved, I've just um, been to it because uh, I needed some wood. And although there's trees around here, it's all rotten wood. So what I did is I went to that park I had pinned, which was quite high up in the hills. And I thought there might be some snow if there was going to be any snow. But it's really mild at the moment. It's the warmest it's been on my thermometer since I've had it since December and it's 14 and a half degrees here now hence why I'm in a t-shirt I need to change back into my shorts like I was yesterday but um yeah just got that stick and another one um, that's like taller than me so that will last me like two or three days and this morning I was walking <laughs> just there <laughs> in the sea um, well obviously it's tidal because it's so close to the sea the sea is literally just there in that opening there because there's hills there hills there the sea is just there um, and yeah it's all tidal and I was just walking out there I wanted to meet, reach this little island thing here but um, well it's still a river so I couldn't cross one bit so but I got quite close so yeah I'm just enjoying life out in the Sun um, everything's going well Rose is going well touch wood she's she's a monster <laughs> she's a beast um, and I love her and I hope you guys are all doing well I hope you guys are having a fab February and uh well no more like had hope you guys are having a lovely springtime now a little bit of a spring clean i'm gonna go to my friends in anglesey in two days um and we're gonna jet wash the underside of the van because it's <laughs> well mucky and i just don't want it to get you know really rusty again because i didn't wax oil it this year because I wasn't going to wax oil it because I was like it's a load of fresh paint and then I was like actually it's probably pretty good but it was there was no time to fit in anyway obviously I got the MOT done in December and then the box back on and I was just like I can't afford it then um, so I'm just going to do it probably midsummer, not even getting towards the autumn whenever the weather's really good and dry I'm going to take it to my dad's or my friends jet wash it again and um, do the whole thing with Lanagard um, but before I do that, I'm going to touch up any bits of rust that have already come through um, with some with a wire wheel, uh, rust converter, and then um, rust oleum, and then the chassis paint, and then Lanagard. So five layers of protection. Well, no, one, one was wire wheel, so four layers of protection.
Good morning, everyone. I know I'm a silhouette, but which one's more important to see, me or that? Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's turn it down a bit more. There we are. Look at that. Got the wood burner smoking away just behind you. Oh, just done about 10 minutes meditation. Very, very refreshing. And yeah, life's great. <laughs> it's my birthday morning, might I add. So yeah, hopefully it's not gonna rain. I mean, it's kind of just like, there's not really any clouds. It's like a thin layer of clouds and spotty. Hopefully it won't rain. But yeah, for now, I'm just gonna wait for the sun to come up behind those hills. And drink my tea. Okay, so um, my uh, my camera's already run out of uh, storage. Eight gig does not go far. Um, sun still hasn't quite come up yet, but um, I think I'm going to go for a walk. Central. I think they're all enjoying the sunrise. Uh, the wind sure has picked up. <laughs> but um, I don't know if you can see that over there. Oh, you can. It's just so moody. The clouds going. To, the, the clouds are definitely there. The rain is soon to come. But um, oh, I don't know. It's just beautiful. <laughs> I love Wales in February. There's no one around. Not that there hopefully will be in summer here anyway. I'm definitely coming back here next time I'm around this area. Oh, this is my favourite spot. I think I've said already. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I started to walk down there, got uh, locked in by water, so I walked back across a shallow bit, and then I'm here now. Um, I don't think I'm going to get very far, if I'm honest with you, but hopefully you can hear me with the wind noise. But there's there's the sea. You can't really actually see it, not can I? But uh, it's, it is over there, I promise you. There's some cool little houses here, you know, must cost a lot to live around here. Because of people, I forgot to film the food, so I'll put a picture in now. Um, but yeah, this is the view. That's not Snowdon, as much as I'd like it to be. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for a walk up Snowdon and then go to Angus. So, hello everyone. The cafe I went to was uh, a cafe and pizzeria and ice cream place, and it's called Glassin, Glasslin, Glasslin, Pizzeria, and then over here, just walk through a puddle, is uh, the ice cream parlour, and that is the lovely mountain in the background. Also, what was recommended? Let's cargo by again. Obviously, the the ice cream and pizza place is over there, <laughs> but uh, this um, cafe Colwyn. But yeah, I'm going to go to one place. And then over there is Rose, just in between those buildings. This is a bed gillet. Bed gillet. I don't know how to say it, but yeah. <laughs> I'll put it in on the screen. But uh, yeah, that's what, that's what the town's called. It's quite nice, to be fair. Um, again, it's just travelling in February. <laughs> There's no one around. On a Wednesday, obviously. I think it's half term. I'm not sure. Why would I know? I think it is. So yeah, as I'm sure many of you know, I obviously chopped half a meter off the back of Rose. If I hadn't, she would not fit here because she is butted up to that back wall. Used the reverse camera, went right up. And by the little chimney, which kind of blends in, you can't really actually see that it's a camper. It doesn't look like one. Yeah, there's vents, but they could be workman vents, you know, a bit of rust and stuff. However, this side obviously has the windows. It makes it look a bit obvious. And obviously the back is not stealth at all. And you can see that straight from the path. So hopefully no one cared too much. But uh, yeah, pretty close. And uh, yeah, she wouldn't have fit in otherwise. But yeah, I'm so glad I chopped half a meter off the back. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. We're gonna start Rose up and then we're gonna go to Snowden. So uh, 
Yeah, they're the weather conditions. As you can see, very low cloud. So uh, that's why I'm not hiking up to Snowdon because it's just not going to be worth it. But, you know, as I say, I'll, I'll go up some of it. But I'll come back at a later date when the weather's nicer and do it because then it'll be worth it. Um, maybe winter, maybe summer, I don't know. Let's see what the weather says. Look at that. I thought I'd stop off at a viewpoint, take some pictures and a bit of B-roll. <laughs> Rose is just eating the miles, stomping up the hills. She's a beast in third gear, literally just, I could use fourth gear, but that would be too fast. Like, it's, yeah, just third gear, smooth up there. Just where that lorry's going, I'm coming up here. Going up, up, up. Um, and yeah, the rolling um, clouds do make it very atmospheric, to be fair. But that Snowden, it's not too bad, to be fair. You know, I'll go, as I say, I'll go on a walk and see, see what it's like. Um, and we'll see where we end up, really. But yeah, I just thought I'd take some videos. And she's being a beast as she always is and i just spotted this just as i got the camera out or my phone more like <laughs> the camera's full up stickers i'm gonna get a sticker from my van now so i'm gonna stick it just over this white one because there's no point in that one being there i've just dried it and there we are if anyone wants a sticker i'll be at some meets this year including all the south centrals is my aim or south build get together facebook group on facebook obviously there's the beast there's the view there's the road, let's hit the road. Okay, hey, so, leaving. You'll probably see the van behind me. Good old Rose. Um, well, it doesn't look too bad, but it is a bit spitty and yeah. Plus I haven't got time to get this top anyway today. But, so far, it looks lovely. I've only just set off. Got a couple of snack bars and some water. As I say, I'm not going on a proper hike. I'm just gonna go up. And yes, the quality is much more downgraded on the phone. I can't do walk by shots. Nothing comes out. The picture quality doesn't come out as well, even though it's an iPhone 12, it's still, it's not that great when you're used to my camera. Um, yes, yeah, so apologies for all of that. And it's not the video I envisaged. I was gonna go up on a lovely sunny day with my camera, but, um, yeah, that's just not going to happen, is it? <laughs> but uh, otherwise, it looks beautiful around here. As you can see, there's lots of people. Guy going on a walk there, so yeah. But there's a lot of these signs, but I think that's if you try and stop on here. <laughs> You've got to walk up there, one and a half miles, and then see how we feel. <laughs> yeah, well, that was quite exhausting, to be fair. But nice practice. But I'm going to need a break before I actually start. I won't lie, it's easier than I thought, but this is the flat bit. Um, I'm doing the miners track to pig track um, route, which is quite common. And um, it was made out like, really, whoa, take torches, make sure you tell someone when you're gonna go and be back. It, it's a gravel path, <laughs> unless you're stupid. And there's a couple of like cliffy bits without a fence, unless you're, blatantly stupid and just walk off the edge yeah it's dangerous but like as long as you've got half decent common sense then i don't see what the problem is but it's three o'clock now it's taken me an hour to get here so to get back it's gonna be four o'clock and i like to get to my park up before dark and so i'd like to get there about half four even though it gets dark about half five but you know a bit of precaution but yeah so I feel it's time to turn around now. That's actually the peak, uh, well, there, <laughs> you can't see it. So it's pointless climbing much further because it would just end in nothingness. Um, but the water's nice and the, the, the views are absolutely insane. They are incredible. Um, <laughs> I am so coming back here soon. I can't tell if that's snow or some white rock. I think it's snow. I'm going to turn around now, head back. So, it's been two hours. The longest I've ever left Rose. Typical car comes. Yeah, the longest I've ever left Rose. She's still here, which is good. 
and um, all locks, trackers, alarms and immobilizers were enabled. Where? She's still there. Deal, Mark. Nice little stream there. I might get some of that water because it's only just fallen from there uh, for boiling for pasta water tonight because I'm quite low on water and good to my friends. So, yeah. I just grabbed this from up high. So this will be fine. I just drank some. It's beautiful water. Um, I know some people would say, oh, you can't risk it, but <laughs> I risk it. I also drink all the water from my tank, which some people never do, even in this country. I wouldn't in other countries, and I'm going to install a five-stage filter, so then I will. But um, in this country, honestly, 90% of water is drinkable, so here's the front of her. Oh, I think she looks gorgeous. I love this van, I really do. I don't just like it, I don't just love it as a van, this is my forever van. <laughs> I love this van. Anyway, enough of that. Um, I'm going to leave you here in this wonderful location. Um, next week's video is going to start tomorrow um, on my phone, but uh, it will end on um, on my camera because I'll be at my friend's and she'll be able to upload it. Also, excuse the wind, um, we're going to do some bits on roads when I'm with my friends. Uh, it's my friend Ben who helped me with a lot of my previous builds. So if you've been a long-term subscriber, that mysterious guy that occasionally pops into my videos, that's my friend Ben. And we're going to his and Anglesey. And um, he's got loads of jet washers and stuff and petrified jet washers. So we're going to jet wash the whole underside. I've got some mud flats, but I'll talk about all that in the next video. But um, yeah, so this wasn't the best video. It was, didn't go how I planned, but hey, life doesn't go how you plan. Life's an adventure. And um, it's been a great time in Snowdonia. I've loved it. But yeah, now on to Anglesey. So I'm going to leave you guys here. I hope you did enjoy it, even though I'm having to film my phone. And if you did, hit the like button. Um, be sure to comment down below. And uh, if you're not subscribed, which a lot of people aren't, then please do hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. Um, let's try and get to 2,000 subscribers um, soon. I don't know when, but yeah. And uh, hit the bell icon, and I'll see you next week.